Hi there, this is KA6BFB and this is my ICOM 720A. This was my main HF rig from 1984 through 1997. It was a good rig, it had a lot of stuff going for it, it was kind of ahead of its time back then. And it's also got the old ICOM logo which is nice and rugged and robust unlike that wimpy thing they've got now. Anyway, if you look in the background, you'll notice I've got Ham Radio Deluxe. Now, why would I have these two in the same video? Well, that's a fair enough question. A little background is needed. A few months ago, I was interested in getting Ham Radio Deluxe to work with my Yaesu 736. Well, the Yaesu 736 uses a CAT interface, but it was incompatible with Ham Radio Deluxe because the CAT interface only lets you write frequency and mode and PL data to the radio, but not query it for its current status and that is not the model that Ham Radio Deluxe is built on. Now I made a video for that and if you're interested you should probably go look at that and get a little more background on what I'm doing here as far as making Ham Radio Deluxe work with other radios. So that's on my uh, YouTube site. Anyway, suffice it to say that after um, a little bit of effort I wrote a emulator in software and what it did was it pretended that it was a Yaesu 847 and it faked out Ham Radio Deluxe into thinking it was an 847 so it would talk to it and I would store the information in registers uh, or memory locations inside of the software and then I would use the same software to talk to my 736 and tell it what frequency and mode to go to and it was a really big success and after uh, I put my video on YouTube I was contacted by another ham N6BIL and we collaborated together and we came out with a hardware version of it and it's a major success and there are links to that project on my uh, YouTube site anyway after we were done with that I thought how about trying that with the 720A 728 has a rudimentary interface. It's a 4-bit parallel interface that goes to the microprocessor inside the radio and it's also got four other uh, lines that are used for controlling of that bus. It's a lot different and a lot more difficult to work with. Now this communication method allows you to control the frequency and the mode and uh, VFO selection. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. It was a lot more work than the previous project, but I've got it going. Now, yeah, you know, there were people that were asking for the 736 to be controlled by Ham Radio Deluxe, but I don't think anyone's ever dreamed of the ICOM 720A being controlled. I mean, the 720A came out in 1980. The IBM PC was in its infancy. We were still using DOS programs. Uh, Windows didn't even exist yet. Well, I'm sure that back then, or even just recently, no one thought about using Ham Radio Deluxe, but I just did it for the heck of it. So, let's show you some of the operation. So, I'm on 80 meters right now. Let's see if we can hear someone. Now there's a conversation going on there. Now I'll go up to Ham Radio Deluxe and I'll change the frequency and you can see it changing on my 720 at the same time. Now I'm, I'm doing this pretty late at night and there's not a lot of activity unfortunately. Whoop, what's this? There you go. All right, we've got a political discussion. What a shock. Okay, so not only can I uh, change the frequency, but I can change the mode. Now watch when I change it to upper sideband, what happens on the 720. There, it changed. And then I can change it to AM. And I can change it to CW. And let's, let's see, let's go up to uh, shortwave and see what we can find up there. So... Uh, should probably go to AM. 
And let's see if we can find anything here. Okay. Let's see if I can find something in English. Well, there's something going on there. And, let's see, let's go back to a, or 80 meters. I want to show you one more thing. I can also do transmit right there. All right, so uh, now I should show you how I'm doing all of this. I'm using a microcontroller for the emulator, and here it is right here. Now, I haven't made a circuit board yet, and I plan to for my own use, but there's the microcontroller, and that LED blinking is one of my test uh, LEDs to confirm that I've got serial communication going on. And this stuff right here was necessary because the ICOM model for uh, CAT interface is one line that has both seri or the uh, transmit and receive signal coming through it on the serial. And I really needed to have uh, that broken up into one transmit and one receive. That circuit does that. It also allows me to use the uh, ICOM CT17 uh, CIV uh, adapter. So it actually performs three functions all with uh, just a few chips and it's working pretty well as you can see. Anyway there you have it. That is a video showing my ICOM 720A being used with Ham Radio Deluxe. I hope you enjoyed it. KA6BFB